This is The Process Shot. I'm Michael, I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I guess it's better than being stuck in a riverboat. Well, the one in this movie, at least. Jungle Cruise is a newish action-adventure comedy from Jami Colette Serra, starring Dwayne Johnson, Emily Blunt, and a whole lot of computer graphics. In a story set in 1916, Johnson plays Frank, a small riverboat captain in Brazil who makes a living giving river rides to tourists. Blunt portrays Lily, a researcher who hires him to take her and her brother down the Amazon in search of a legendary tree with blooming flowers claimed to be a cure-all for diseases and illnesses. As they face a number of dangers, from heavy rapids, cursed explorers, and cannibalistic jungle natives, Their journey is closely tracked by Prince Joachim, a German royal seeking the flowers to help turn the tide of war in his country's favor. It's not a particularly complicated story, and as a result, it's not a particularly complicated film. The plot moves along pretty smoothly, hitting the kind of beats you'd find in a film that seems designed around a safe formula. And as such, it's not particularly suspenseful if you have a good idea of where you are in the story, or if you've seen movies that follow this formula too. I'd almost say the movie has the formula down to a science, with enough character presence that you can't quite say that there's little development for them, and enough story progression within scenes that you also can't say that the film lingers or stops itself. This is normally how stories in movies are supposed to work, of course, but in Jungle Cruise, there's not much weight in what goes on. Scenes almost seem to come and go with as much as is necessary to say or show that something has happened and then move on from there. Even for as much spectacle as went into the film's production, from an immersive and ever-present sound design to cinematography and art design that emphasizes the beauty of the Amazon and its residents, it's all almost immediately forgotten once the film actually ends. Speaking of spectacle, there's no better example of this than Jungle Cruise's great amount of special effects work, which manages to simultaneously be in the film's favor and work against it, mostly because of how mixed the final results are. You'll have excellent graphics that mimic nature amazingly well, especially whitewater rapids and actively living plant life. But then you have more prominent examples of animal life that comes through much less convincingly. It doesn't help that the animals are among the more prominent examples of this work, again leading the viewer into unsuspending their disbelief and ultimately realizing that For as much as the movie wants you to believe it, there's really very little in the way of danger and suspense for these characters. Couple that with the way that the story is treated, and you have Jungle Cruise, a movie that's technically fantastic and otherwise tolerable, but does nothing to try and stick with you, either as an adventure fantasy or an action comedy. Jungle Cruise, Jame Colette Serra, 2021, one and a half stars. I wouldn't recommend watching it. It's harmless, but you can do better things with your time. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. You know? I'm not even sure if this movie made any references to the African Queen. I guess that just shows how forgettable this was.